All right, we're here at the whiteboard because, again, this defense was so bad in this game, I had to pull out the pen and show you guys the plays I'm talking about because I can't show you the actual game footage. So here's what we got. I got two plays for you I want to talk about. Both resulted in Ole Miss touchdowns, and both were extremely easy to avoid if you just do the X's and O's schematics thing. So here we go. This is the first play. This was Ole Miss's first touchdown. And Quinshawn Judkins, the running back here, is the guy that ends up getting open. He was so wide open, something went wrong. I'm going to show you what went wrong. So here's the alignment. The X's are for the offense. I know it should be O's for the offense, but I messed up. So we got X's for the offense on this play. Here's the defensive alignment. So you got two receivers over here, the quarterback here, and then a tight end and two receivers on this side. Um, and then LSU defensively is the O's here. They're kind of spread out and whatnot. So... The play starts with Judkins. He's actually split out over here as a wide receiver. He motions, hence the dotted lines, the dashed lines, behind the quarterback in the backfield and ends up out here in the flat. I put boxes around the guys that are important on this play. It's Judkins and then Greg Penn. He's the linebacker right here. You need to watch what he does on this play too. So, as I said, Judkins motions out, and it's man-to-man, -man, which means... Whatever he does, Penn has to do, unless the defense does some kind of a check, but they didn't do a check. In a good world, I'll tell you what should happen. Here's what does happen. So he motions, he goes, play starts. This tight end, crossing route, these two receivers, just vertical, doesn't really matter what route they run. Their job is to create traffic, and they do that with these vertical routes. So we're going to just kind of scribble right here because this is a log jam. You basically can't get through there. That's... It's a, it's a fence. That's what it is. So he motions. Penn's got to follow. All right, fine. The play starts. He goes. Oh, we run into the log jam. And he gets caught up in there. Penn's out of the play. Ovi Agufu comes off the edge, the DN. But nobody accounts for Judkins. He's wide open over here where there's nobody. He makes the catch. And that's a touchdown. 7-0 Ole Miss. What should have happened? Communication. He motions. I know this is like a split-second thing, but you got to have the ability to communicate. So whoever this was here, I think this was Omar Spates, the other linebacker, he's got to make a check, like one of these kind of things, like I'll pick up this running back. Because if he picks up that running back, or say he picks up this tight end, this corner right here then picks up um, – Everybody slides over, basically. He gets him, he gets him, he gets him. Maybe this corner out here could have slid over, or maybe Ogufu could have followed Judkins out to the open space here and prevented this play from happening because he was wide open, and that's how they scored their first touchdown. So just, again, an example of being out-coached, out-schemed. Lane Kiffin clogs this up, leaks his running back wide open out to the flat. Easy catch, touchdown, probably could have done a blindfold. Let's go to the next play. So this was later on, there we go, uh, in the game, close to the end of the first half. In fact, it was like the final minute of that first half. And uh, we had a bust in coverage, basically, if I can get to it. There it is. All right, here we go. Stay here. Um, so offenses are in the O's, defense is in the X, switched it up again. So here's the diagram. Judkins on a wheel route. Um, you got three receivers out here. Uh, a receiver tight as well. He's the guy we got to watch in this play. It was Dayton Wade, Ole Miss receiver. And you got to watch Lateris Welsh, who was playing corner out there for LZ. Those are the important guys. These guys, they're doing whatever. So wheel route. Wade runs a drag across the formation. The tight end back here, Preeks Horn, he runs on top of him on a drag route. And this receiver basically does the same thing. He kind of just clears out of the way. And, and creates, again, that log jam here right in the middle. So here's what happens. And then this receiver is running a vertical stop and go. doesn't matter. What happens is LSU's in man-to-man. -man. So you got the dash lines. This guy, he's got the running back. Uh, back here, he's got this receiver. And this was Sage Ryan. He has this receiver. So it's man-to-man. -man. And then Zy Alexander is this guy. What happens, though, is Welsh drops back like it's zone, like it's cover three, cover four. And Major Burns also does that. So you've got two guys right here covering this area. Meanwhile, Wade runs wide open on this drag route. He gets to this part of the field. He is wide open. Nobody around him. I talked about in the segment about why the defense is bad. Nobody's even in the sonar. Alexander's back here with this receiver. 
Everybody else, Welsh, Bird, they're over there. He's the only guy on this side of the field. Catch, runs it in, touchdown. He could have stopped, had a cup of coffee, and walked his way into the end zone. That's how open he was. Why? Because Welsh thought it was man-to-man. -man. Burns probably was doing his job as just kind of helping out, playing deep. But he missed his assignment. He covered this running back when we already had the running back cover right here with this guy. His job was to come across the formation and cover that drag route. He didn't do it. I know he's a young guy, hasn't played a whole lot. But simple things like that. Happened over and over again in this game, as I just showed you. These are only two instances. It happened a lot more than that, though. So these are the kinds of things that need to be done. Literally this. Go to a whiteboard if you're Matt House or the secondary's coach and diagram these plays and show your players what they did wrong. Because if he just knew it was man-to-man, -man, I highly doubt that this ends up in a touchdown because it was pretty well covered besides for him <laughs> being wide open and Ole Miss scoring. So... They tacked on another touchdown there. They scored more touchdowns in these kind of situations in the second half. And that's how you get a 55-49 game. So, you know, you got all these complicated coverages. Cover four, cover three buyers, whatever. How about we just start with man-to-man -man and zone and go from there? Let's have our players knowing if we're in man-to-man -man or zone. That's a good starting po point. And that's something that everybody should understand. And that might kind of solve some of these problems. But... Things like that can't happen. I don't care who it is that's playing out there. You got to know your assignment because if you don't, it's 11 on 11. One guy messes up, you got problems. This was a problem. Ole Miss scored, and again, it was just a reoccurrence of the same stuff over and over again all four quarters. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's kind of just a quick illustration at what is wrong with this defense, and we'll do this some more this season.